Hello and welcome back to Moon Medicine Yoga for a gentle, deeply relaxing, restorative yoga class inspired by the essence of winter. In honor of this season of rest and reflection, today's session is a cozy practice that mirrors the tranquil aspects of nature during winter. During this luxurious 40-minute class, we'll settle into supported poses for up to five minutes each, allowing us to sink into a deep and dreamy state of relaxation. Winter reminds us of a universal truth. A phase of dormancy is vital for survival, growth, and eventual abundance. Mammals like bear take to their dens for hibernation. Reptiles like snake and turtle enter a state of brumation or condition of inactivity during extended periods of low temperatures. Similarly, certain plants and trees enter dormancy when conditions are less conducive to growth. They slow or halt their growth process, channeling energy into fortifying their trunks and root systems. This restorative class is perfect if you're embracing the winter season or navigating a personal period of rest. Now let's get into some very comfy clothes and begin. I recommend having one to two blankets and up to two blocks available today. Though rest assured, this practice can be fully enjoyed without any props. I'll guide you through prop-free alternatives throughout the class. If this is your first time here, I'm Allison, and on this channel, we do yoga inspired by the moon, the seasons, and astrology. Feel free to subscribe to join us on that journey. Before we get started, like this video, and we're going to begin in a comfortable seat. You can arrive in a simple cross-legged seat, or if you're using props, lay a blanket down with a block on top so you can have a nice cushion under your legs and ankles. Once here, place the palms on the tops of the thighs and applying some pressure, rub down towards your knees for a little grounding massage. Do that a few times, taking a nice deep breath out as the palms slide down. Let this be your first opportunity to connect with and deepen the breath. For this last time, as the palms push away, lengthen the spine through the crown of your head. Find stillness resting the hands on the knees. Close or soften the eyes option to breathe with ujjayi by constricting the back of the throat. The breath will sound a bit like the wind in the trees. Stay here, enjoying the transition from your busy life to your peaceful practice. We'll be here for a few rounds of breath, just watching it flow in and out of the nose. Inhale, blink the eyes open. Feet to the floor with knees bent. Hold the shins and take a deep breath in, lifting your heart. Exhale, arms wrap around the knees and bow your head. You can rest your forehead on your arms if that feels good. Dropping into a little curled up seated seed shape. Keep breathing deeply. You might feel a nice stretch down the length of the spine and in the low back here. Let the eyes close if that feels right. Watch the breath expand in the belly and feel the belly expand against the legs. Notice how the breath expands through the side body and back body with every inhale. Allow the muscles to soften 
with every exhale. Transitioning now, inhale, lift your head gently. If you're on a block, shift off and place it to the side. Fold your blanket into a rectangle and place it toward the top of your mat, like a pillow. We'll all lie back with the knees bent and the feet flat on the floor. If you're using a blanket, rest your head on it. If not, just feel your head settling directly on your mat. With hands on the belly, take a deep breath here. Getting heavy in the back of the head, the spine, and the soles of the feet. Letting everything soften into the earth, grounding. Stay here or option to grab your block for restorative bridge. Lift the hips and place the block at its lowest setting under the sacrum low back. So like partially on the low back, partially on the top of the bum. Short edges out to the sides. Wherever you are, the arms can rest by your sides. Hands can be on the belly or you can take a cozier variation by giving yourself a hug, wrapping the arms over the heart. Do whatever's the most comfortable for you. If you're in the hug variation, take note of which arm is closest to the chin because we're going to switch. Inhale, open the arms and exhale, cross the arms again with the other arm on top. Staying here a few more breaths. Breathing with effortless breath, allow yourself to sink in a little deeper.
exhale, release the arms and lift off the block, setting it to the right side for our next pose, resting tree. Left leg extends and keeping the bend, let your right knee fall to the side, placing the block under the knee. Again, the arms can rest by the sides, hands on the stomach, or you can embrace yourself with the right arm on top. Know that you can change your mind about whatever arm variation you choose at any time. And please adjust the block so that you're totally comfortable. You can bring it up a level for more support, move it in closer or farther. This is a chance to really honor your needs. If you don't have a block, the knee can just rest out to the side or you can use a blanket underneath. Now take a deep breath and settle in. Getting ready to transition. Exhale, release the arms. Bring the feet to the floor with knees bent. Moving into resting tree on the left side. Straighten your right leg. Left knee falls out to the side. Rest your knee on the block or on a blanket or without a prop. Take the arm variation of your choice and if you're hugging yourself, left arm on top. Once you find your best shape, take a deep breath in and out.
Now preparing to move into our next pose. Exhale, release the arms, bring the feet to the floor, set your block somewhere to the right. We're coming into Sleepy Snake. Cross the left leg over the right and shifting, roll onto your right side. You can tuck your left foot behind your calf, kind of like you're in eagle legs if you like or not. For a supported version, try placing a block or a blanket under your knees. Feel free to experiment with what might feel good, taking it or leaving it. Now once coiled up in your perfect position, take a deep breath and relax. Now taking a couple conscious breaths before the transition. Inhale, roll onto the back slowly, switching the cross of your legs. Right over left this time. Bringing whatever props you might need with you, roll onto your left side for sleepy snake. Take a nice breath in and then sigh it out, relaxing.
now taking a nice deep breath, we're going to come into our next pose. Moving gently, unwind the legs and press up to the knees. We're coming into a supported variation of child's pose. Reach for your blanket and place it on the calves, tucking it into the backs of your knees. If you feel like you might need an extra cushion for your knees or legs here, you can use an extra blanket as a pad on your mat. Exhale, walk the hands forward and you can stack the hands, making a little pillow for your head, or you can rest your forehead on a block. Take a moment to set up. And when you're ready, exhale completely, letting your hips get heavy towards the heels in hibernating bear. From here, inhale to rise up and swing your blanket, if you're using one, around to the top of your mat. Lie down on the belly for a prone restorative pose. From here, we're going to extend the left arm across the chest and reach your right arm forward. Stay here or option, right knee bends to the side in a right angle. This combination of half dragonfly and half frog is a pose we'll call winter roots, an homage to the wintering trees. 
if you find that you need a little support under that bent knee, you can put a block or a blanket there. If you don't have any props, you're just lying directly on the mat here. Find a few deep and cleansing breaths. And feel the front of the body sinking into the earth. Gently transitioning now. Extend the legs and get ready to switch the arms. But first, come up onto the elbows just to reset between sides. Taking your time. When you're ready, reach the right arm across the body Lower down, extend the left arm forward. It's also fine to have that extended arm by your face if that feels better. Left knee bends to the side with or without a prop, your choice. Drop into the breath and enjoy. This is a really nice stretch for the shoulder of course, a very gentle stretch for the hip. Make any adjustments that you need.
Now deepening the breath. Moving slowly and gently, we're going to simply roll onto the back for our final rest. You can set up for regular Shavasana, lying directly on the mat, arms and legs extended. Or you can place blocks or a rolled up blanket under the legs to create a gentle bend in the knees. I'll demonstrate how it looks with the blocks. Arms rest by your sides or hands can rest on the navel. You can also cover yourself up with an extra blanket, like tucking yourself in. Give yourself the unconditional gift of rest here. You didn't need to earn it, you can just have it. The muscles of the face, scalp and ears soften. The rest of the body relaxes like freshly fallen snow. The breath is effortless. Enjoy your rest. Feel free to stay in rest. But if you are ready to transition back, take a couple gentle deep breaths. Exhaling, bring the knees into the chest, giving yourself a little squeeze. Set the feet down, rolling onto your right side for our closing reading. This is White Eyes by Mary Oliver. In winter, all the singing is in the tops of the trees where the wind bird, with its white eyes, shoves and pushes among the branches. Like any of us, he wants to go to sleep but he's restless. 
He has an idea and slowly it unfolds from under his beating wings as long as he stays awake. But his big round music after all is too breathy to last. So it's over. In the pine crown he makes his nest. He's done all he can. I don't know the name of this bird. I only imagine his glittering beak tucked in a white wing while the clouds which he has summoned from the north, which he has taught to be mild and silent, thicken and begin to fall into the world below, like stars or the feathers of some unimaginable bird that loves us, that is asleep now and silent, that has turned itself into snow. And taking that with us, with a deep breath, let's press gently to a seat with the hands at heart center. Thank you so much for joining me for this restorative practice and for nurturing yourself with a little rest. It's been a joy to share this time with you. Let's bring the thumbs to the third eye and bow to honor each other and all our relations. Before you leave, please hit the like button and leave a comment with perhaps your favorite pose from this class or how winter is unfolding where you are. This class was a little different than my usual content, so any engagement you can give is much appreciated. Thank you so much for subscribing and I will see you again soon on the mat and under the moon. Winter blessings to all.